Okay, guys, so I think I'm struggling with my connection here, so hopefully you can hear me and see me. Um, so, yeah. Okay, guys, so uh, basically w one thing that I really wanted to talk about here is very quickly, and that's the DAX, is the German index. Um, so I talked about this one this morning, and basically I was telling you to keep close eye on these uh, certain barriers here. So the uh, 13,374 on the upside and the 13,044 mark on the downside. So in a way... Um, for now, for now, we're, we can see that today the, uh, the the German index is getting hit, so we're seeing this sharp slide to the downside. Don't get me wrong; um, still, it still has this level here to overcome before we could consider lower areas. So, in a way, we're going to keep an eye on this 13,044 uh, mark, uh, and we need to see a drop below this before we could examine some lower levels. Um, in terms of the upside, well, the same game plan remains. We need to see a push above the 13,374 before examining higher levels. Uh, the S&P 500. Now, with this one here, um, looking at the cash index, we can see that the the price is balancing around its Friday's close, not far from there, but it, at one point today we we did saw the cash index uh, drifting higher and uh, pushing all uh, pushing in a way and creating a new all-time high on, on the on the cash index. So uh, yes, we'll, we'll we'll keep an eye on this one, but of course we'll keep an eye also on this uh, short-term tentative upside support line taken from the low of the 3rd of October and uh, until kind of until we see a clear break below this. Uh, below the subside line and the drop below the uh, 3,127 mark, we're not going to uh, target any lower areas. So for now, that's why, guys, for now, be very careful with this one. Uh, let's keep an eye on, on the um on the levels here and uh yes uh yes for now it everything's it seems that we may see a test of this upside line but the question here is can it can it hold if it cannot then uh drop below the 3127 mark could be uh could do the trick here for for a few few sellers and we could see uh the pair oh sorry the pair the index drifting to towards the uh, 3091 zone marked by the low of the 20th of november uh platinum also very very quick mentioning of this, something that I um, haven't looked at for quite a while. This is one of my favorite uh, commodities to look at. And uh, basically, for now, you can see that platinum is stuck here inside this uh, pattern here. And uh, let me just quickly draw this. So we have a, we're having ourselves a nice triangle pattern. Uh, you can see that the price is getting uh, is getting squeezed right now. Um, it still is trading below its uh, 200 EMA here on the four-hour chart. So in a way, it still has a possibility possibility to drift lower the only thing is that um here right now there is a uh, if if suddenly this pops uh above this downside line here and breaks above this key area of resistance let me just quickly put this one on the chart um if it pops above this level right here the 902 zone roughly around there this would also place the price above its 200 ema on the four hour chart and then we could start targeting these highs these uh the high of the 26th of november near the 915 16 mark and slightly above that we do have the high of of the uh, of the um, 21st of November, and that's on roughly around the uh, 927 mark. So we'll keep an eye on those. But again, uh, before uh, before we could examine higher levels, we need to see a push above the uh, this barrier right here, the 902 zone. So let's keep an eye on this one. In terms of the downside, now with the downside here, it's a little bit uh, trickier. Um, Again, we would need to see this one, this downside line getting, uh, well, holding the price uh, from moving higher. And if we see a drift lower and we see a drop below the 889 zone, then in a way we could start considering lower areas. The only thing is that this is a very key, important area of support to consider near the 883.50 mark, which is the low of the 22nd of November. But if that fails to withhold, now this is where it could become a little bit more exciting and we could see this one drifting further nor uh, further south. So for now, let's see how, where which way this is going to break out to but again 
it's very interesting as it is coiling up right now so we let's see which way that's going to pop for now everything is it, it is trying to push higher the only thing is that it does have a strong barrier here to overcome um so if it does then yes uh, we could see this one drifting a little bit further north um aud usd so uh this is something that i talked about this morning but what i was saying that in order to can get comfortable with higher levels a push above the 0 0.67 uh 80 zone would be needed so perfect move here um initially we'll be targeting the 200 ema here on the four hour chart which is roughly around the 0 0.6810 mark um you can see that the um, the pair is kind of getting closer to that. If first, it would need to overcome the 100 EMA on the um, on the four-hour chart here, but the next stop could be around the 200 EMA near the 0 0.6810 uh, mark. Of course, slightly above that, we do have another potential area of resistance, but we'll get to that if we see a push above the 200 EMA. Um, in terms of the downside, uh, pretty straightforward. We need to see a drop below the 0 0.6751 zone before examining a slight lower areas for now it seems that the uh, the downside is slightly off the table uh, AD CAD also moving in a nice uh, move uh, in a nice direction up um, so of course the more important level here would which would which got broken today and that's the uh, the high of Friday near the 0 0.90 uh, 10 mark uh, roughly around here so it, it did get broken uh, it, it we can see that the pair did travel higher but it's now currently finding some some resistance near this level right here near the 0 0.9043 mark and in a way if it get, if it holds right now we could see a bit of a correction here a drop lower and let's put it that way if the rate continues to balance above the 200 EMA here on the four hour chart then we could see this one reversing and pushing to the upside again so um, if the 0 0.9043 level get uh, well if the pair overcomes this barrier then the next target to consider is around the 0 0.9069 mark so let's keep an eye on this one let's see how this is going to play out but for now everything is kind of leaning more towards the upside and uh, let's let's like I said keep your eyes on the 0 0.9043 if it if it acts as a nice good uh, area of resistance then we may see a bit of a retracement here a correction but if it stays above the 200 EMA here then uh, well another round of buying could be seen so um, in terms of the downside we'll start looking at lower areas if we see again a drop below the 0 0.9010 mark and then yes we we will initially target uh, this area of, of support here um, near the 0 0.8960 or maybe just slightly above that the the, the low of Friday uh, near the 0 0.8965. So good potential area of support, but we need to see a drop below the 0 0.9010 uh, mark right here. Um, GBPUSD. So um, this one is quite interesting because it continues to trade within the range, within the wider range here. So that's roughly between the 1.3013 on the upside and the um, 1.2767 on the downside. The only thing is you can see that from the shorter term perspective we can see that the pair is uh, also uh, slightly coiling up here and let me just show you what I'm talking about so it is stuck below this downside line and also it is stuck above this short-term tentative upside line so in a way we're waiting for a nice pop here though so, so if we get a nice break through this downside line here then uh, we could see a nice push towards the 1.3013 mark uh, by the way that's the highest point of October and then we'll take it from there if it wants to travel higher then yes that's good news for the buyers but if it doesn't then we could get a hold up here and then we could see a nice reversal back down but for now let's see which way this this is going to break out to and uh, if we see a drop below the um, this little territory right here near the 1.2880 then we will consider a possible slide to, to the uh, 200 EMA here on the four hour chart and, and that's roughly near the 1.2820 mark. If that gets broken, then uh, the next area to consider is around the 1.2767 uh, euro dollar. Now this is the last one for this uh, for this session, and uh, this is what I talked about this morning. Basically, we are seeing a nice push higher here. Um, what I was saying that we need to see a nice good break here above the 1.1043 before examining higher levels now because we're, we're we're already knocking on the door of this level um wait for a nice close maybe if we get a nice day a uh, four hour candle close at least a four hour candle close above this above this barrier then in a way there is a good chance for this one to drift further north um 
don't get me wrong it might get a, a break here above this 1.1043 it might get a hold up near the 200 EMA here on the four hour chart and then reverse back to the downside so in a way such a scenario could happen as well but if the rate continues to balance above the 1.1025 mark roughly around here then there is a, still a chance for this one to drift to the upside for us to consider lower areas we would le we would like to see a move below the 1.1025 zone and only then target the downside here again but initially we'll target the 1.0989 level but as you can see by the arrow drawn here this is the area um, where we could get a little bit more comfortable with lower areas um, and uh, we would need to wait for a drop below the 1.0989 so in order to consider lower levels but uh, this all this territory yes we could try to maybe capture a drop lower here but it would be a little bit of a tricky one so that's why I'm not really kind of recommending to do anything here basically if we see a drop back below the 1.1026 just probably wait this one out um, but at the moment uh, you can see that it is pushing higher it is trying to make its way to the upside let's see if, if the four hour candle can stay here above the 1.1043 if it does then this increases the chances of a possible move further north um so yep guys for now keep your eyes on this one it is at a very interesting spot okay guys i really apologize for the uh, connection loss initially in the beginning of the video i do apologize for the poor poor quality of the uh, transmission um hopefully like i said i'm still trying to fix these issues um and i like i said once again i do apologize for the quality of the video and i hope i'll manage to sort this out earlier uh but uh please yeah please bear with me guys and uh, i appreciate your patience anyway if you want to join me tomorrow morning um as always at my traders espresso that's seven o'clock gmt time for now i hope you have a beautiful evening guys and i'll see you later thank you very much and bye bye